What's going on everybody and welcome back to another episode of Stonewall Penitentiary. Uh, we're back down here and we're looking at that little sticky note again. So what I found out is uh, here, I read that wrong. It's add together like colors. So not add together like colors. It's, you know, add all red together, all green, all blue together. So those numbers that we got in the previous episode, uh, we had to add them all together. And then it says to listen on the headphones for Morse code. And it tells the order and the digit to use. So if we go back up here, I've already added all the numbers together for red, green, and blue. So if we use this here. An old radio. The station dial has been glued in place. Okay, so someone messing with us. Uh, put on. Green. Okay, so we got three, two, Green. and one, and then we have uh, two, three, and four. Red. So, uh, no, wrong thing. In here, uh, it's a guard. Okay, so was well, two, three. Because uh, there were no, it was three short and four long. So then we would have green was three and two, was it? And then the other one was two and three. Okay, wait a minute. I have to look back at that. Because that... Hang on. Let me see here. Green. So we have short. Red. And then long, long, right? Okay, so green was three short, two long. Red. Two short, three long. Okay, so why I have more in my, uh, unless I'm reading it wrong. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, no. So green was three with two. So that would be three. Green green should be three. Red was two with three. So that's So the code is three two one. Why doesn't that work? Am I reading this wrong? Oh, I didn't even know you could do that. Morse code because it's required. Or maybe it's that oh maybe it's backwards. 
maybe I've got like short, 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 long, long. So that means green would be eight. And then red would be, so it'd be eight, seven, six. One, two, three, four, eight, six, and nine. It's eight, six, and nine, or eight, six, and one, I think. Um, Okay, I'll try it. Eight, six, and nine, or eight, six, and one. There, eight, six, and one. Okay. I took the key from inside the lockbox. Yeah, I'm damn right you did. It took me for freaking ever to figure that out. Uh, and I'm gonna guess that that's what I need to open up this thing here. I don't know why I have a glow stick. So did you load the gun? Now that I was armed, I felt it safe to return to the mines. I only hoped Gerard had found some way for me to climb back up to the bathroom. Hey, and I did realize um, you could go out to a balcony here. Uh, let me just check my inventory quick. There. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you could go out onto the balcony and he said, hey, it's not snowing anymore. But I didn't look at anything else, so. Oh, this prison is a labyrinth. Okay, grounds. The prison grounds almost look peaceful when blanketed by snow. If only I didn't know better. The balcony was too high to jump. Not that it made a difference. I was facing the interior yard anyway. Yeah. Building. Oh, check out the sky. Still cloudy. Ah, oh, such a bad day. <laughs> Okay, go down the staircase. What are these? Empty steel drum. Okay. The fire burnt out, and the killer is gone. Mm -hmm. To the hole. If he got beat to death, I can't see her being the one to do it. I... What's going on in here? Oh no! Uh oh! Will, back away from Jesse. She killed Gerard. She's been lying to us all along. I don't think so, dude. That's not true! He was already dead when I got here! She lied to us before about her location, and she's lying to us now. Do you really think I'd have the strength to kill Gerard? In all honesty, I don't think so. I told you the truth about my identity earlier, William. I've told you the truth all along. Yeah, I think it was all a ploy, though. He has a gun. I saw him holding it. So he took the gun off of him. Gerard gave it to me when I found him in the bathroom before Sonny's death. It isn't loaded. Mine is. I haven't been anywhere near the bodies when any of these people died. She's done nothing to help us find a way out of here. Use your common sense, Will. You've been leading us this whole time, telling us what to do, manipulating us. And you've been standing in the background, observing our interactions instead of reacting to them yourself. You're assessing us, determining how we'll act. Hmm. You're insane! And you're a murderer! Will, 
You can't trust her. Don't listen to him, Will. You know, I gotta go with my girl Jessie here, man. I can't see, no offense to her, but I mean, she looks relatively frail compared to him, and to be able to beat Gerard to death, that's, that's something, man. So, because uh, he could have done it, on, I mean, she could have smashed him with a gun or something, knocked him out, and then beat the crap out of him, but I'm going to go with Jessie on this one. There's Who to no trust? Pull the trigger! Thank God, for a second there, I thought you were going to side with Grayson. <laughs> You're making a mistake, Will. I don't think so. Jesse, let's tie him up with the rope you used to lift me back up. I'll take his walkie-talkie. Together, Jesse and I tied Grayson to the bathroom stall with the rope I had just climbed. Grayson didn't resist. He just stared at me silently with bleeding eyes. All right. Can you follow me, Will? I want to ask you about something. Oh, God, here it is. This is where I die. <laughs> Jesse led me to the cafeteria. Okay, Jesse, what is it? What made you trust me, Will? I know you too well to think you did this, Jesse. You'd never hurt anyone, at least not intentionally. Thank you, Will. It means a lot. But you're wrong. So, Grayson is the killer. Maybe. Who's that dude right there? Uh, I almost want to go. Are you sure? Because... Uh... Neither have I. I never told anyone I was at that party. Except... on a website. Uh... A website? What are you talking about? It's called confessyourcrimes.com. It was supposed to be an anonymous way to relieve your conscience. Ugh, that must have been how he found us. Shit, I know that site. I came upon it a few weeks ago. Do you think that the site wasn't completely anonymous? It must not have been. I can't believe I was stupid enough to fall for it. I used the site too. I know I never confessed to what I actually did, but that's not important anymore. What is important is that nothing either of us has ever done warrants this, so don't beat yourself up for it. You're right, of course. Now that Grayson is tied up, I think we should each try to find a way out of this place. Together, we don't separate. Damn it! See you soon. Yeah, you're probably gonna stab me in the back. Connections achievement is unlocked. All right, so now Gerard Arborun is dead, and I and I happen to climb back up to the bathroom, to the bathroom just in time to find his body alongside Jesse. That's when Grayson showed up, and I had to choose Jesse or Grayson. But there's no way Jesse is capable of these murders, and so together we tie Grayson up. I hope I made the right choice. After tying up Grayson, Jesse and I had a revelation. Confessyourcrimes.com, I used the site after what happened. And Jesse did too. That must be how the killer found us. Found all of us. And that's what I get for trusting something I found on the web. I'm starting to think that maybe Jesse might be in on it. And maybe... Maybe the warden had a daughter. Right? Because the son we found out died in the... Uh, the bottom and maybe she was like beat or abused or something like that uh boy oh boy okay 
Okay, do we go here or uh, maybe we try the front door? We know where all the the wood is. Guard station. Was it here? I think it's here. Can't wait, what? You knew something stupid like that was gonna happen. The list of suspects keeps narrowing down. Yeah, there's only three of us and we took his walkie-talkie. So it has to be her. What the hell is the, uh... Was it here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, Will. I'm in the bathroom. And Grayson's not here. He must have... Jesse? Jesse! Alright, uh. Okay. I guess we gotta go back. Eastern Hall. Western Hall. And take a shortcut. To the kitchen! Maybe nobody will find me. The kitchen gave me. Ah, shoot. <laughs> so much for that shortcut. Oop. Crap. Can't go that way. Showers. That's where we just came from, right? Yeah. We can't go there. How the hell did we get back to the goddamn bathrooms? Oh wait, here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell? Why me, man? What did I do? I was the nice one. Maybe I should have confessed. <laughs> Your son is absolutely fine, Mr. Thing. No, I disagree. Why is he having so much trouble breathing? It's called athletically induced asthma. Basically, when your son partakes in physical activity, he gets symptoms similar to that of an asthmatic. Will this prevent him from playing with his friends? Not at all. I've given him an inhaler to use when the symptoms begin to appear, a few puffs, and he should be good as new. Now, he will have to take it easy from time to time, but I see no reason why he can't run around like everyone else. Thank you, Doctor. Mm hmm. So this is the fourth time I've been knocked out now. Ah, oh, thank God it's not her. Um. What did Grayson do to me? I don't know. Wait, did you get wait? I was knocked out yeah. and woke up here, same as you. Damn it! It had to have been Grayson. I must not have tied the rope strong enough. How stupid of me! You think? My God! Forget about it. What we need to focus on is how to get out of this freezer. We're locked in. <laughs> hey, I, I, Welcome to hell. I'm cat. It's frozen over in case you hadn't noticed. Yay! casually patted my pants pockets and found that I was still carrying the loaded firearm. Why would Grayson not take it? Let's get out of here. And who the hell is that? Oh, it's Becca. Another victim of Grayson Wolford. I can't look at her. Well, then stop. What's with the cat? That's weird. Hi. Hey. <laughs> uh. Are you okay? Did he hurt you? 
No, I'm okay. Cold, but okay. Did you find anything when you were looking around the prison? Before Grayson knocked you out. Actually, yes. I found the perfect hiding spot. If we ever manage to get out of here, we should just go there and wait for morning to come. Yeah, and then the whole prison will open up. would never be able to find us there. Hmm. Do you happen to have anything that might be able to help us get out of here? I have a book of matches that I found lying around in reception. If you think that'll help. Yep. I'm going to break the gas lines and set everything on fire. How are you holding up with everything that's happening? Aside from feeling cold, I mean. Well, considering four of the people I've met today were killed by some psycho and I might be next, not bad. Hey, way to keep a positive attitude. I'm sorry. I didn't mean... I'm just making small talk. I appreciate what you're trying to do, Will. If just if I start to think about what's happening tonight, I don't know if I'll be able to get through this. You know what I mean? Sure. After all this is over, I'll buy you a cup of coffee and we can talk about it. Cool. I'll hold you right to now, it. Let's just get out of this freezer. I just don't want iced coffee. I'll try to get us out <laughs> of here. Yeah, you, you sit tight. I don't want to end up like Mr. Kitty. Oh, you already named him. Her. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we got. My thoughts. So Grayson must be the killer after all. Jesse and I woke up trapped inside the walk-in freezer. It's freezing in here, and there doesn't appear to be any way out. But I can't end like this. I'm going to get us out of here, and then Grayson, I'm coming for you. Ooh. Okay. Uh. Door open. Hey, look at that. The door is unlocked. No <laughs> uh. Throw the cat at it. Oh, no, that's mean. Uh, Becca, no, we can just look at her. What do I have? A glow stick. Jesse, you want a party? You're used to raves. <laughs> uh, can I throw it like in here? Can you like not turn around or anything like that or because we got a door Jesse Becca and that's it no here take this be careful it's low what the hell did I do that where did you get the ammo it was in a cage in a tower in a guard tower son of a why are you giving it to me? So you can shoot me later because you're the killer. For protection. If Grayson tries to hurt you, use it. Okay, I will. Risk taker achievement unlocked. Yeah, well that was unintentional. <laughs> okay, set Kitty on fire. Oh, you're not going to make me set back on fire, are you? No, okay. Uh, on glow stick. Glow stick on matches. Matches on door. Uh, what the hell? You don't want the glow stick? There was no dessert. Jesse, can you move? Sorry. Or what if there's something behind you and I can't see it? Okay, I gotta look at the cat. Can I do anything with the glow stick and the cat? No. Can I use anything with the matches on the cat? No. They're probably dead. There has to be something. But I can't turn around. Like nothing turns to an arrow anywhere I go. And all I can do is look at her. Oops. I can't 
And stop then. Oops. Something just popped up in front of the... Escape the freezer. Well, how the hell? Claw. Sorry, cat, but I need this more than you do right now. How the hell am I gonna do a cat claw? A razor sharp claw. All right, Jesse, I'm gonna cut you open. Oh, now there's a panel. Please. No, piss off. I don't want to talk to you. Panel. Open. Uh, smoke detector. Crumpled paper. Wait. An old smoke detector. There were no batteries inside. No. It was missing batteries. Damn it. Wires. Three color-coded wires connected the smoke detector to the alarm. Okay. This is not a drill. This... So, can I put my cat claw in there? Cut the wires. I'd better not cut any wires on Okay, well then pull on the fire alarm. Ah, see? Nothing happened. That's right. Uh, oh. Emergency. Alarm will sound and door will release. Sounds promising. No, <laughs> Okay, now use the claw. I'd better not cut. What the hell are you talking about? Uh, can I just use my matches on... No batteries. Then cut the freaking wires. What the hell does that do? Three color coded... Why did I do that? Hey Stan, I know you have to test the alarm system as a part of your inspection, but it broke during my shift. I didn't break it, I swear. Anyway, I jury rigged the smoke detectors to activate the alarm system, so just set it off. This may So now, wait, what the hell happened? Oh, I used the claw on that, so do I use... Doing that would be pointless without a working smoke detector. Highly flammable. Hmm. Oh, wait. There you go. Okay. Good job, Will. Where do we go now? Out. Now we find somewhere to hide and hope to God Grace doesn't find us. Where's your hiding spot? Why don't we use the gate controls to lock him in one of the sections of the prison? Because he can move around all over the place. I don't know where he is. Besides, the gates have already malfunctioned once. We can't rely on them. And where do you suggest them? You said you had the hiding spot, not me. Mm. No, he was there. The prison near he was. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, I'm going to call it right here, and you guys don't know where I'm going to go. 
I'll have to figure that out before the uh, next episode. But I am going to call it here. We finally broke out of the freezer. Thank goodness for that. And yeah, we're going to have to see where we're uh, where we're going. Sewers, medical ward of the prison yard. Uh, I think the sewers. I can't remember if we saw him in the sewers. Because the medical ward, he's been there, I think. In the prison yard, he pushed him off. Maybe we did see him there. Maybe we go to the medical ward. Yeah, I don't know. But hopefully you're enjoying the series still. If you are, you know what to do. And I will see you next time. Take care.